Hi, I'm Lauren and welcome back to Pages of Eliza's. Today I'm doing my first solo video, so let's get talking. Today I'm talking about my top five favorite book covers because I'm a visual artist and the cover of a book is always the first thing I notice. Sometimes I just buy books just because of how beautiful the cover is. So, my number five is My Lady Jane. I've talked to you guys about this cover before because I just love it. Um, I love how all the colors work together and how bold the font is because it's just like, it's just so bright and it, um, I saw it at the bookstore and it just popped out at me off the bookshelf and so that's part of the reason why I got it. I like all the little like fun little notes that the authors and illustrator put in and for some reason I just always love when there's like a beautiful like model on the cover <laughs> um, and yeah I just really like that part so that's my number five. My number four is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I love all the Harry Potter books but this one is my favorite. I always thought it was really interesting I really loved how um, all the covers show kind of what happens in the book so like it shows all the different like main characters and like the golden egg and like on the back has the dragon and the goblet and I just love that part and it's really interesting I like interesting book covers because then I just like go back and look at them all the time when I while I'm reading it I just stare at the cover for a really long time and on this one there's a d a bunch of different ways that Harry's face is illustrated and this is my favorite one actually he just like looks the most realistic and that's how I think of Harry Potter mostly while I'm reading the books so that's my number four. My number three is the Mysterious Benedict Society. I've always loved this cover because it's just beautiful and really um, detailed and there, I love how there's a lot happening and so it's really interesting and you just you can just look at it and see all the different things that are happening during it and I love the font because it looks like it was written, handwritten in like fancy pen or something. And also I like this little like red flap thing. It has it on all three of them in like different colors. And I always thought that was just really unique. Um, the illustrations on this I find to be um, really different. And I like how it matches the book because it's just, the illustrations are really quirky. And like really different from what you would expect. Um, and that matches the book because the whole book is pretty quirky and weird. So, yeah, that's what I like about that. My number two is The One by Kira Cass. Um, first of all, just look at the dress. It's so beautiful. Just, just look at it. Um, this was my favorite of all the selection series because um, I love just all the cream and white and silver and I love the photography of it and it's really good like lighting and everything and the model is just really beautiful, Audrey Hollister. And also, if you haven't noticed, mine is signed, so that's another thing I love about this. It's not really cut cover, but look, it's signed and it makes me really happy, so there you go. Look. <laughs> My number one. Some of you may know this, but most of you probably don't. I actually wrote a book and it's called The Queen's Heir. It's a fantasy adventure book and it was illustrated by the amazingly talented Abigail Platter. Um, it, this is watercolor. This is watercolor and it's so detailed. I don't know how she did that. I've done watercolor before and I could never get it that detailed. Here, I'll show you the whole thing. Look. And it looks very um, realistic, which I love. And look, I love how all the different colors like create an atmosphere, the right atmosphere for like a battle scene, which is what this is depicting. And so that's just perfect. I love it. To be honest, this is one of the most beautiful covers I've ever seen. I might be, I might be a little biased right now, but it's one of my favorite covers ever. And I just love it, and I'm really proud of it and happy. So if you want to read it. There you go. The Queen's Air is going to be available soon online, and so if you're interested, um, we will show a link in a future video so you can go and check it out and see if you want to buy it, because 
You should. <laughs> um, there you go, that's my number one. Okay, so that was my top five favorite book covers. If you have any suggestions for me, any suggestions of, of book covers that I could judge, <laughs> um, then comment down below and I'll check those out. Um, make sure to give this a big thumbs up because it's just me and you can show your appreciation for me. <laughs> And make sure to subscribe if you haven't. We post videos every Wednesday and every Saturday. Sometimes it'll be me, sometimes it'll be both of us, sometimes it'll be just Audrey. So check those out. Make sure that you subscribe. And I'm Lauren, and keep on reading. <laughs>